Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be playing some Call of Duty World at War, and I fucking hate this game, God damn it! Actually, the game is pretty good, I just, I don't know, the guns feel really stupid to me, and I have to play Capture the Flag because of some stupid ass mission, and I hate it. Let me turn on my TV real quick. So I seem to have uh, an issue, or at least I had an issue in the past about the fact that my bullets don't go where my goddamn gun is pointing. The recoil with this, with pistols in this game is really weird and I haven't really gotten a chance to use many other of the guns just yet. Uh, what the fuck? I hate it when people face through me. But uh, all morning I've been trying to complete this stupid get a capture the flag wind challenge that I ended up picking up from the quartermaster. And, no, despite my best efforts, I can't fucking complete it. There we go, host migration. Fucking lag. That literally every game that I've gotten into, there's been a host migration because I've had, like, one bar when the game starts. Yeah, steel C, one bar. I don't know what it is about capture the flag. It's just the connection is horrendous. Enemy flag ah, fuck, he got kicked. Oh, shit. What? What? Fuck! I was like, I see him on the map. I better turn around and shoot him. And now I'm falling through it. This is... I... I just... Why? Why? Why even make Capture the Flag a thing? Who the fuck likes this game mode? Whenever I play it, I get way too goddamn competitive because it's a stupid game mode. I don't want to be playing it, and I don't appreciate that you made the mission so that way I have to play this stupid goddamn game mode. It's got a respawn delay and host migrations every 10 seconds. Fucking die! Last match I had, we completely stomped them. The fu what the fuck? <sighs> Anyway, we got three captures. They didn't get a single one. And then over the course of... I mean, we let, we got them immediately. And then it was the entire next round, and they got two captures, and we didn't get jack shit. And then when it came to overtime, they just scored in 30 seconds, so the second anybody died, it was essentially over. Playing with the pistols doesn't help much either. Although I do like recording right now because uh, I have my saturation increased. Well, the saturation on my TV is increased to begin with because, I mean, I don't know why you would want to have everything looking gray. But then my Elgato also increases it, so looking at my Elgato it looks normal the way that it would be on my TV. But when it's getting transferred through it into my actual TV, now all of my colors pop so much and I love it. I loved playing Dead by Daylight like that because rather than seeing like grayish green grass you actually saw green grass and then the mist started to look bluish and then oh yeah that's right they added freddy krueger i should go play that i haven't played um with him yet i also uh since it's a paid dlc i wouldn't be playing with him but i mean i haven't played against him and i was watching uh who the fuck was it it was achievement hunter achievement hunter was doing that also i have a really long mic so i just got up from where i was before walked across the room got a soda and now i'm sitting back down where i was before but uh yeah they were playing as him and then they ended up i was looking at it and i was like this seems like freddy cougar's really op but then when i figured out or when who was it that figured that out was it michael yeah michael figured out that uh if you pop a generator, it gets rid of your sleepiness, which is great because, I mean, if you're sleeping, he's already got the outline of you going and popping a generator. I mean, all that's going to do is be like, hey, he's not sleeping anymore. Also, a really interesting thing that I thought about, um, if you are playing as Freddy Krueger, the, in my opinion, most overpowered killer perk, which is actually called overcharge, but, um... It doesn't help you, really, because if you damage a generator, the survivor can just walk up to it and get rid of their sleeping. I mean, all they have to do is activate it, and then, like, the second they touch it, it will activate the skill check. Like, I've done this before, where 
uh, somebody's been using overcharge so I've walked up tapped real quick to repair the generator it activates the skill check and you can actually walk away with the skill check still going and you can try to work on the uh, the skill check without actually still touching the generator which is great so I don't know why anybody ever plays capture the flag it's got a respawn delay it's got a wave spawn delay I think too doesn't it at least in this one it did it seemed like it because I was playing Aachen and um, they actually I wonder how many people call it Aachen the first time because I know most people haven't taken like German classes or anything like that so they don't know what it's called Aachen I usually tend to stay away from a lot of the phlegm sound when I end up talking to people. Like, when I'm speaking to uh, English-speaking people and pronouncing things in German, I stick away from the, um, like, the actual full pronunciation of it, and I just work on, like, some minor stuff, like... I don't know, point to hawk, but, um, because that's not German. But, like, with Aachen, I say Aachen, I know that you can add more flum to it, because it's got the, uh, the CH sound to it. I honestly love the CH sound in German. Also, hit my mic. Capture the flag. I've considered recently getting a, a better mic rather than just my turtle beaches. Uh, maybe after I get, like, an Xbox headset, too. Because then I can wear the Xbox headset, connect to my controller rather than needing to, like, run it all the way to my TV. Because right now I've still got my headset running all the way to my computer because, uh, girlfriend ended up getting a 4K TV, so I've been playing on that. Really, actually, is no improvement graphics-wise just because I'm still using the regular Xbox One. And my little tiny 19-inch TV that I had had uh, 1080, 60 frames per second capability, so the the game looks no different. It's just on a lot larger screen, and that really messed me up for a long time because there's more space for your eyes to have to move than when you're playing on like this little tiny TV. Like you can look at a little tiny TV. And your focus is like half of the screen, like your uh, your eyes focusing area. It's it's like the majority of the screen. And then, um, God damn it! And when you're playing on a really big TV, the majority of the TV is your peripherals, and you're like focusing basically where my reticle is right now is. So in terms of like. Uh, performance for the person-wise, I would say a smaller TV is better, but, I mean, TV's great for watching shows and just about everything else, and it's not too bad for games. I love it for Dead by Daylight. Motherfucker! Why am I on fire? Somebody gave some SMG users and Zindy Ray rounds. Either that or I got shot in the back by one. Well, that would be me. I think. Is it me? I, I, well, I grabbed the flag once. Was that actually me, though? That, I don't know. I was, the match that I was playing on Aachen was bullshit, too, because I was... We had a guy at my base sitting on our flag, and I ran into their base. They were, they had our flag, and they were right on where their base was supposed to be, and there's that, like, little elevator shaft. The guy was sitting in the elevator shaft, so I was outside by the tram, and I shot in and killed him, and then I ran into the elevator shaft to pick up the flag. I saw it disappear off my screen as the um, the blue color, and I figured I had picked it up. Turns out the guy standing at the top of the shaft ended up picking it up even though I was standing right on top of it. And of course that was attributed to the lag as well because I clearly stood on the flag and then it popped into him. And then of course the guy killed me because he did the uh, bullshit thing where you both get way too close to each other and then you turn around and whoever happens to see the other one first gets the kill and I fucking hate that about Call of Duty. I've always hated that. When, because of lag, it ends up um, seeming like you passed through each other even though they might have been slightly somewhere else. Just like when you're uh, looking at somebody and they're looking away from you and then you die. 
and on their screen they were fucking staring at you. I've had that happen too because uh because of lag in like the final kill cam or something like that for a match. Ooh, I've only got eleven kills left to go. But um as the final kill of the match, I will be like staring at somebody, unloading bullets into them, and then when it shows them killing me, I'm like looking the opposite direction and firing, and that's just really stupid, I find. Actually, I recorded a moment a little bit ago when I was playing on Aachen. Uh, where is it? Notifications, Game DVR. Uh, which one that would that be? This one? Let's play this clip. Is it this one? Really? It goes into something else? Remember your training. Make us proud. Get our flag, soldier. Pretty sure. Yeah, I run over to their flag, and then I'm trying to like partially lead him because of the lag. It was terrible. All right. Yeah, this is it. I turn and I just unload my entire clip into him and I get hit markers towards the end which is probably when I first started shooting at him and then he comes around and apparently shovels me on his screen for the kill cam while I was still reloading even though he came around the corner and I started spraying him with it it was really dumb also I hate the fact that I have a couple of guns variants for the prestige rewards, and I don't play anything other than airborne. So I've got a variant of the sawed-off shotgun, and a variant of the MG42. And actually, um, when you go into zombies, you can go and see those variants and look at them, but they don't count as being seen for multiplayer. So I actually have to wait until I prestige in both armored and expeditionary before I can even see my variants that I got for that. But there was, um, <clears throat> what did I want? I think it was, who is it that has the, the medic? Yeah, this one. What was it that I wanted for them? It was in one of the collections, like towards one of the weapons. New supplies ready for you. Uh, collections. There was a version of something that wanted, like, a medic, and it was, like, black, and that was the one that I wanted. Was it 61st Battalion? No, because that's a... Ruby Loftus. I'm currently working towards the, um... M19. Dogfighter... Yeah, I thought about getting a machine pistol, but it's expensive as hell. Also, I already finished it, so. Got the high mat. I like it. It's got headhunter. Clinical nurse? No. Yeah. It's a different nurse. But it's, uh, it's, like, fully black. Yeah, I got the, uh, bazooka because it was, like, super cheap. And then I'm working towards the, uh, 1911 right now, so I need wings of freedom. I thought it was funny because I actually got the uh, heroic version of Mechanized Infantry from a drop, Mechanized Infantry 2, and then I still came back and had to get this one, even though I got the better version of it. And they look identical, just one is heroic and one is epic. I don't know why, I don't like any of these ones where the characters have like tons of straps on them and stuff like that. Like the... Um, there's a version that looks similar to this, but it's a lot more yellow. And then there's that one that I actually pulled up before that had the... I also have Bite the Dust 2, which is actually on one of my classes. Spearhead Forest Sapper. This one I had considered getting too, because it's also really cheap. And it's got the, uh, the gold and black. This looks so dumb. Yeah, well, just up for war. I've also got a metal plate in front of me. 
Looks like they took like a giant shovel head and just stuffed it on their chest. Also, why the fuck am I not going yet? Come on, we can go three. No, never mind. Something left. I was gonna say we can go three v three. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't check my combat record very often. My accuracy with uh, this, there must have been some kind of glitch or something like that where hits weren't registering properly because I have a point zero one accuracy with this. This means I'm hitting one bullet. Where is it? Where's my actual? Here we go. Hitting one bullet for every hundred. And these ones, the PO8 got thirty-two. The M1911, I've got 28, and I've actually got 24 for the machine pistol, which I'm surprised about, because I'm usually, like, super point-blank with them, so I suppose it makes sense for me not to miss as much. But the machine pistol took me goddamn forever to get the headshots with. I remember there was a, a glitch in... Was it Black Ops 2? When you, uh, dual-wielded pistols that you already had, like, gold you would... actually no, it wasn't even from that. But it would like... it counted dual wielding guns as different weapons than like actually using the gun. So I don't know if like at one point they had considered playing around with that. Oh, that was weird. Wait, bring me back my phone class. Here we go. Yeah, this is my bite the dust too. I still need um to play as an expeditionary and get up to the point where I can throw a grenade up to that one thing because I'm assuming one of the secret uh, things is to actually get one up there and I have done one other than like the really simple one that you do just for shooting these ones Yeah, so that's like the easy one that everybody's gotten. And you can shoot the watermelons too, it's fun. Your screen gets covered in watermelon juices. Alright. Then there's also, like, I feel like there's one up here for this. Because I've done this one, and I used a Lewis. Just because you got to be really fast at killing the ones that come behind. So you kill all three of these. And these two pop up. Or all six of these, and then those two pop up. And then you get all six of these again. Alright, and then these two pop up. Oops. And then there's like three that shoot up, like right up where this guy is. And then they all move across. And I could never get it to where they would like all go but then when I finally did I got one of the um what was it it's a challenge right it's in dossier uh game modes headquarters all right um where is it 300 targets I literally just did the uh the five that switch back and forth between sides I can't find the hidden balls I don't think they're in implemented yet Oh, uh, the 38 feet. That one was interesting. Uh, yeah, discover unique hidden sequences in the firing range. Yep, so I've got the, uh, I think I've, that's only two of them. God damn it. Why can't I just find a game? Hiya. Yes, look at my skin that has disappeared. I don't like walking down in the firing range and then coming back out because then my uh, SMG loses its suppressor. Is the double XP weakened over too? Where is that? <coughs> I sneezed. Oh yeah, this uh this outfit. I don't like the look of it, and I hate when other people use it. They stand out really nice, though, so they're easy for shooting. I thought it was funny. I was like, at first I thought it was just, like, total feet fell, and then I figured out that you actually have to, like, come over here, jump off of this, and land all the way down here. And that's your 38 feet. And you gotta try to be, like, further over this way, because I hit it 
perfectly one time and got like 35 feet and it didn't register like the last few feet that I fell from like here to here because it said that I like I landed right here rather than landing down here god I want to play Skyrim I forget how far how many episodes I had of that as my uh, on the remastered version I like playing it with mods but I hate the fact that I lose achievements and of course I have to redo all the achievements because it's the the remastered version on the three or uh, Xbox one because I've got like tons of achievements for the 360 version and it's funny how little I actually know about like the whole of the game considering the fact that I've probably put hundreds of hours into it okay this is dumb as fuck thanks call of duty for not finding me a fucking lobby. Alright, let's leave and see if we can find one. It's gonna chuck me right into a match. Watch it. It's not even gonna go to a lobby. It's gonna be bullshit. I think my favorite map is actually Flak Tower. Or no. Um. Not Flak Tower. Carantan. Obviously. But, um. From, like, the actual maps. Like, since I've been using pistols and haven't really gotten to a whole lot of the other weapons, because I was like, all right, we're going to start off day one. I'm just going to use pistols. So I used, like, the P08 for the first three days. And then um, by the time I actually got that done, I had the machine pistol unlocked, so I got the machine pistol. And I got up to level 55 with, like, two bloodthirsties left on the machine pistol, so I finished that off and then prestiged. And so, of course, my um, first prestige... I'm counting, like, my initial level as zeroth prestige, but, um, my first prestige I've been using the M1911 the entire time. Only got 20 more headshots with it left. So, yeah, there's, like, a shotgun kill order going right now. I already did the 10 targets in 10 seconds, because that's easy. Uh, yeah, 15 shotgun kills. I'm going to capture the flag match. Actually, I'm not using a shotgun, though. Oh, uh-huh, yep, yeah. it's great. Why the fuck don't they just have, like, what is with Capture the Flag? Is it the time of day? It's like 2 in the afternoon, maybe 2.30, maybe 3, I don't know. Started watching The Punisher on Netflix, not that bad. I was weird, <laughs> it was weird, because I, like, I had a shotgun, and I'm not used to spawning with a shotgun in my hands. What was that? I fired, goddammit. Look at me with my single bar, zero points, I'm feeling up. So. I hate this so much. Also, I don't know what it is about this year compared to like every other year when I get like one cold and then I'm perfectly fine for the rest of the time. But something about this year, it's like. Uh, cold off and on like I've got like three days Where I don't have a cold and then it all sucks again. Thank you Capture that please I Get way too competitive when it comes to capture the flag I believe I said this before already But I, I do I get way too competitive when it comes to capture the flag because it's a shit game mode I don't want to be playing it and I don't appreciate that the orders are for me to play it Yeah, you can't fucking see me bitch. I'm John Cena Where's the little bitch that was in here? Oh, he's over there. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, he's dead. All right. I also, um, it's bullshit the way that the, um, the perk thing works in this or whatever it is. Because you've got the, the classes. Yeah, I got it. All right. All right. Um, the way that the, the perks work in this, because you've got the actual classes, but then you've got like the perk set thing that you use, which is like the, um, the espionage, the gunslinger, the duelist, and I love the duelist, it's great. It's almost necessary for getting the, um, the bloodthirsties, just because it, like, it, it, like, quintuples your, uh, storage capacity of the guns, and then I put extended mags on them anyway, so I had, like, the machine pistols, which, of course, only has ten bullets in it, which is stupid, but then, uh, the increased 15 rounds 
and then two of them and the ammo capacity increased way up and I don't actually have my infantry high enough level to give me the bonus magazines and stuff like that so I don't even know what the maximum is that you can carry but I had like a hundred and something bullets which was great compared to the like 40 or 50 bullets that you get default I think they had the clip and then three extras which is the standard for military but um yeah, getting a bloodthirsty of five kills when the gun basically like eats through the entire clip in two seconds. Probably less than that, actually. Actually, probably just closer to a second with how fast it fires. The machine pistols in these games suck. I wish I. Oh, I want a three round burst pistol in this game. Of course, it's probably not going to happen because burst weapons weren't a thing, but whatever. Okay, I guess I don't have it. Thank you for the host migration. Just don't end the game, please. I get fucking sick of it. Sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. What is that from? I don't even remember. I just remember somebody yelling, like, I'm sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. I feel like it might be Anastasia. I don't know. Yes, let me spawn in. Hey, what's up? I love this glitch. I don't even know if you can kill somebody when that's happening. I know you used to be able to, um, back in Black Ops, I think it was. Like, it was, if you called it an RCXD, right as a host migration was starting, you could drive the RCXD during the host migration and then go kill people. Pretty sure there was a YouTube video of that. If not, my friend showed me it on the uh, theater mode. Because I think, was that the first game that introduced theater mode? Don't even know. I can make your hands. But saw the, uh, I, actually it might have been Vanos that did that. The, I feel like I remember Wildcat like laughing his ass off because the RCXD went through during the host migration and then went to their spawn with like five people and then as soon as the host migration ended they blew it up and killed the entire team. Get the fuck out of my way. They need to turn off friendly collision in this game. It fucks up so much when you're running. And then also when I try to like strafe and I run into a friendly, I get fucked over. Because I do a lot of strafing in this game. Do a lot of strafing in all the Call of Duties, especially when I'm sniping. Because if there's like, if I, that was really cool that I was spectating the glide bomb. But if there's a guy standing really far away and I'm looking over there and I'm like an inch off. Obviously it, it wouldn't be as successful in real life, but you ha you would have the tiny muscle movement in real life but um if i'm like an inch off of their head i can move an inch to my left rather than like chancing the little tiny movement like it's a lot faster to go like that than it is to like look over just a little bit and actually control it <clears throat> obviously it's faster to flick to somebody that's farther away from where you're actually aiming, not necessarily farther from you. God damn it. Oh, they captured it immediately. That's fabulous. Fuck this. Wait, did we win the first round? I think so. Right? I'm sure we won the first round. Bullshit! I don't want to lose the second round. Or is this still the first round? I swear to God, if this is the first round and I'm pressured to win the second round, I'm going to be pissed. Fuck you. I don't like the shotgun. Oh yeah, I gotta dive into somebody. I should, uh, I should get that done. Uh, surrender is not an option. We already lost. Worst fucking game mode ever. I liked Gridiron better than I liked this. Also, I was fidgeting with three quarters, and I think I threw them down, and I can't find my third quarter now. Where the fuck? Oh, it's right here. Alright. This isn't overtime, is it? 
Flat guns firing. Clearing right. the sky. Where's the recon? Shooting shit down in this is so stupid. I haven't even used the Panzer Shrek yet. But it's going to be dumb, I feel. This says that it's anti-aircraft. But it does have no lock-on. There is no UAV. It was over time. Capture the flag. I don't even get shit now. Move out and take position. God damn it. Is it actually in the air now though? Enemy bomb get to cover. God damn it. No reload, damn it. You already shoved it down the barrel. There is no lock on, you have to lead it. It's basically a slightly more accurate version of the Maws from Advanced Warfare. No, you fuckers! Damn it! I got it! Round win! I hate my life. Has anybody texted me? I would rather not. Oh, somebody did. I would rather not focus on this stupid ass fucking game. I hate capture the flag. Oh, wait, is season 8 of Game of Thrones? No, it's 7, right? Yeah. What was it you just got? Oh yeah, rapid fire. But that gun is maxed out, because I've been using it since day 1. Since that was what I used my token on, was this SMG. I want the Wilco. Some, I saw somebody that had it, and I was pissed. I don't know how the hell they got more social rank. They probably got, like, tons of, uh, commendations for the, uh... Wow, I just got that one that I was making fun of earlier. But they, uh, they probably got tons of commendations on the first day because the headquarters was actually working and then they cut that out. Fresh gear. Yeah, what's up, Miss Backbend? So I got Y. What is that? Does he, like, fall on his knees or something? Um, ear to ear. <laughs> Why? Do I want that instead of something else? Bang. You come here. I feel like everybody keeps sit on there just because it's like a permanent thing. You can just sit whenever you want. I'm going to put Y there though. Why? No. I also play as a female because most people end up playing as male. And when you're on the map giving callouts and stuff like that, it's easier to tell that my character is doing it if I hear a female voice. Just because um, <clears throat> otherwise you always hear males yelling crap out. There we go. That's the 38 feet jump right there. 
gets annoying because sometimes you like you'll be you have to run at it from this angle. I figured out if you run at it from this angle, your jumps don't actually register because you like you hit this spot right there that you can't actually move past. So that thing like breaks your stride. You have to run at it like this and then get that. You want to slide off this rock rather than landing. A little disappointed though that you can't actually finish a lot of the stuff in this yet. Like the challenges, a lot of the challenges in headquarters can't be finished. Like the find the balls. Um, the secret firing range things are bullshit. I hate them. Because I've literally spent like three hours here before. I was just bored and uh, watching a video on YouTube. And I was just sitting here, like, shooting randomly at everything, and it's like, there's a target over here, shoot this, shoot this. I tried doing something with, like, the three targets, like that one, that one, and that one way back there, that, like, come back up after a few seconds. I tried to keep them all down, it didn't work. Because they popped back up too soon. It's already up. I wonder if I jump back down here, will my suppressor still be on my gun? Yeah. Oh, here. Let's use my um my dual pistols. Also, I um I got the metallic like a couple of days ago or something like that. Damn it! I wanted to start firing. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to put well, when you dual wield it. You're either going to put extended mag or steady aim. I mean, if you're still going for headshots, you might want to put high caliber, but it's not too big of a deal. But I got the Metallish, I've never actually been able to use it, and it actually makes the camo look not as good having this variant. Because it's all rusted and stuff. And then also my, um... See, you can see the handle there, but then if you have this version of it, it's got that tape around it. The handle that you put on actually goes underneath that tape so it covers up your handle. So if I go to um, my pistol grips here, you can see that it changes underneath the tape. It's probably actually just cloth, but... So we get the regular machine pistol. <clears throat> it's a lot shinier. And then if I take the, uh, the metallish again, it's not as good. Oh yeah, here, let's, um, <clears throat> where's my kill counter on this? Where's my kill counter? Prestige options, kill counter. I think it's that, um... No, where the fuck is it? I don't even see my kill counter on these. Oh, here. Let's, um... Damn it. Wait, do I have it? On my M1911? I do. We shall never surrender. Oh, there it is. It's on the side. Three, four, one or two or something like that? The kill, the kill counter should have been more prominent. It's really hard to see. You can't even see it here. Like, yeah, it's like 3, 4, 1, or 7, or some crap like that. They made it way too hard to see. It's actually... Let's change that to be the clan tag real quick. Because they, like, they made it so discreet. Yeah, you can see the little tiny riv on it. That's that's ridiculous. I mean, it should have been like ingrained on the side of this. Like even if you couldn't see it normally, just like when you go to inspect it, just see a big riv on the side of the gun rather than that little tiny piece of crap on the back of it. It's bullshit. It's like this one you can see fairly all right. You can see the the 649 there on this particular gun. And it's... You can't even see it while you're inspecting the gun. 
It should be something like you hold it up to the side and you can see it like plain as day rather than these little tiny things on the sides. Damn it, I wanted to keep using it without seeing it. Yeah, this is the launcher that I first got. I think this was the collection one that I finished. And I actually ended up buying the uh, things using my armory credits. Hey, next match is going to start. And then the other one I ended up getting out of a drop. Both of them were epic, so I was like, yeah, I'll just have half of my classes with launched on this and half the other ones with the other one. But yeah, I was talking about how launcher was really stupid because in order to take a launcher, I have to take the launched, and I don't like that because then I can't use anything else. It's it's dumb, so dumb. Because I always like my sleight of hand. But I can't have sleight of hand and a launcher at the same time. Obviously, you don't want to, like, just be using a launcher, especially when you're doing, like, the shooting down missions of just, like, occasionally taking out a plane here and there. Because the launchers are more of a long-term thing. The pistols, the I can understand them being... Su they're supposed to be, like, a long-term thing because they're your secondary, so it's, like... Over the course of a really long time, when you run out of ammo, you switch to your secondary real quick. And in most firefights, actually, rather than reloading, you're supposed to... That's the way that they design the game, is that you can switch to your pistol faster than you can reload, even if you do still have sleight of hand. I was going to say, that incendiary should have killed him. The spread on it was really bad, though. Oh yeah, I need fire kills, and then I only need a few actual kills. I got it first. Oh wait, the lag didn't actually... Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> Fucking hate having a cold. Oh, he's got the red skin for it. The toggle action is such bullshit. The fact that you need to get one-shot kills with it, and it doesn't one-shot kill. In most situations, I think I've gotten like two or three with it, but it's it's not designed to one-shot kill. A shotgun that doesn't one-shot kill, I just don't understand why the hell they bothered putting that in the game. <clears throat> I mean, this one does, but it's got the... I mean, I, I do understand why they put it in the game. You don't want people just spamming bullets and taking down an entire group of people while using a shotgun. I was gonna say, you motherfucker. Get our flag, I should keep using this, because I've got the, the shotgun kills that I need to get. I got the fire kills I need to get, and I only need We saw right. their flag! Run on the move! They need to increase the explosive range on the launchers because I've shot right at somebody's feet before and did absolutely nothing. I understand that that one wasn't very close, but I've had ones that were very, very close. Also, it's a two versus five. Fucking burned to death. Enemy care package observed. Deny the enemy resupply. You think I give a shit? I've tried to shoot down those before. They're uh, quite difficult. I haven't hit one yet because I've only tried to shoot at one, but I've gotten really close. You've got to basically, like, shoot, like, as it enters the battlefield, where it's going to be dropping off is about where you would need to aim as soon as it becomes visible. Yeah, you're damn right. Hey-ya! No! Fuck! God damn it. 
<clears throat> Shit. I've noticed, though, that um, compared to a lot of other Call of Duties, I'm a lot more verbal when it comes to my displeasure with this one. God damn it. I mean, you could say that that guy was stupid for trying that, but he was probably lagging his ass off, like I am. Primary objective, capture the enemy flag. Also, I do kind of agree a little bit with the cooldown shit, but I just cannot stand to play uh, Expeditionary. I feel like when I end up playing this as an actual class, I will not be using the incendiary shells too often, which I suppose is why they made it. Oh, oh yeah, of course the lag is going to end up fucking up my shot. Bullshit. Post migration. Yeah, I don't understand what the hell it is with capture the flag. None of the other matches do you get constant host migrations. Probably just because the game is so much bullshit. People leave and then you need to find somebody else to host it. Otherwise, it would end up pulling a zombies and fucking burn, bitch. Shot didn't register, of course, because of a lag. So th by the time I saw him on his screen, I was already dead. Because that's how COD works. That's how COD works. I just got hit in the face with that rock. Uh, fuck off. Boom. Ow. Bitch. Come up here, I dare you. Get our flag back immediately. Burn to death. You're dead. Petrol bombs ready. Light them up. Hey, bitch. No, you're supposed to die from that fucking leg. Hey! <laughs> fire kill. Somebody just ran straight through my fire thinking it wouldn't do anything to them and died. Incoming enemy artillery. Get to cover. No. Ah! <laughs> Fucking bitch. Please. All right. <clears throat> Did I have, I haven't finished my shotgun kills yet. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Oh, 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 I thought I was going to stick him again. Crush them and get our flag back. No! Fuck! Ah! Sending motor God damn it. I need more people that actually play this game. None of my friends that um, I ever would, like, talk to on a regular basis and actually, like really enjoy playing with them and not have them be like some obscure person that I met like one time playing Dead by Daylight. I've got a lot of people on my friends list that are like I added so that way we could play together and then we never really ended up playing together again after that. No, doy. That went farther than I wanted it to. No, fuck your recon aircraft. Bitch, where is it? I kill your recon. Motherfucker. Still didn't kill it. It's bullshit. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. I understand that for reality's sake it doesn't make sense, but the fact that you can't. Oh come on! Take out that Turn off flag. Hit one. You motherfucker! The launchers are retarded in this game. And it won't be as bad if there were, like, actual ground score streaks to destroy with launchers, but there are none. You literally have to be... You just have to shoot up into the air at these things, and you hit, like, half the time. It's a lot easier if you're on the map, or the side of the map that's close to them. Otherwise, leading them is a pain in the ass, because if you've got it like this... 
all you have to do is shoot up like when it's just barely visible in that little circle but if you're farther away there's a lot less chance of actually getting it and it seems like when you're closer to it it almost like locks onto it just a little bit like it'll I mean, because otherwise it's just super inaccurate. I just still don't know why I'm using the shotgun. Alright, I want points for grabbing this. I know I'm not getting it back to command, but whatever. Hey well, yeah, did you actually think I was going to make it back to base? No. Oh, yeah, I've got my, uh, my kills completed. Need... Five more incendiary kills, which I should probably just use the shotgun for in like the next match. Get some shotgun incendiary kills, that way I can finish two weekly missions. And then I'll have another uh, rare supply drop. Owned. Wrecked. At least that was a friendly that got the play of the game. Oh yeah, I know we got destroyed. We always get destroyed. Do 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 do